G'day and welcome to our 92nd episode. In the last episode, we explored the Gallipoli Peninsula before finishing our time in Turkey, skipping through Bulgaria and onto the beaches of Greece. In this episode, we continue west and climb to the home of the gods and the highest peak in Greece. So after I spoke to you yesterday morning, we've come kind of around onto the mainland area of Greece. And this is Mount Olympus. After we got SIM cards yesterday, we did a heap of planning and we've come here because this afternoon we're gonna drive up there and summer tomorrow morning. Weather forecast is looking reasonably good. Oh, it's not gonna be bad, it's just whether there's gonna be a bit of cloud at the top. Hopefully not for sunrise, because our plan is to try and start hiking about five and make it for sunrise about 7.30. It's exciting. Yeah. The, the roads have been pretty good, so I've had them up highway pressures. When I um, got that tyre fixed on the other side the other day of the shop, the guy just made a, he was still in the shop, I was standing outside and he asked me what I want to put it up to. Well, he just made the gesture. I went like this, and he must have felt, thought I meant four bar. So I've never seen those tyres pumped up that much before, but I said to Jolly when I got in the car, I said, I think that guy might have said four bar, and we put this, the, um, the gauge on it, it just went straight off the gauge. So anyway, we won't be using that pressure up here. So that was a fun drive up. Beautiful scenery. You can see now that we're actually on top of the clouds. It was about probably 500 foot lower. Uh, and it's surprisingly, there's a lot of horses. You can see them just coming over this ridge now. You can see that cloud in the background as well. And this is the refuge, just over here. There's 17 beds in this one. It's unmanned, but it's just always open. Um, looks pretty cozy. We'll take you in and have a squeeze of that. These guys here have just, they did the summit today and they're gonna stay here overnight. And there's a couple of guys over here who are just coming down now and now I'm thinking they're gonna head down, but apparently these guys are, know a bit about Greece, so we're gonna probably crack a beer and have a chat to them if you can see if they've got any tips. And the refuge is free And the fire. Yeah, it's free to stay out. 
and um, we're probably going to set up here somewhere. I think there's probably going to be a bit of a breeze coming up this valley, so we'll probably point into that um, and get our stuff ready to head up to try and do the sunrise summit in the morning, which means we'll probably shoot off about 5 o'clock. They said it was pretty easy. It took them three hours, and they did two of the summits. There's actually three, and they only differ by, I think, under 10 metres up that way. So 17 bunk beds, looks pretty cosy, no power, there's a solar panel actually, which um, I think give basic lighting, and down here, kind of got the sitting area, the fireplace, which is actually really toasty at the moment, I imagine it's going to be pretty beneficial tonight, a nice common area, and the emergency communications up here. I think we'll definitely be making the most of this fireplace tonight. Yeah, I think we'll be sitting in here tonight, yeah. looks snug. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you. Good old pesto pasta. Yeah, what a backdrop. Always comes through with the goods. All the horses. Horses with cowbells. That's <laughs> a new one. So it's just gone six o'clock, and we've just started hiking. I think it's about negative one outside, but it is unbelievably clear skies so we're pretty happy about that turns out the forecast has come true which is great we've decided we're going to just walk to this summit over here we're just going to get try and get to that one for sunrise because the highest one uh, is a little bit more technical getting there there's a bit of scrambling that's got to happen so it'll be safer to do that when the, the lights up yeah so it should be interesting we haven't done a good hike for a while so I think it'll be a good test So we made it to the first ridge line here and just as the sun picked over those clouds, which is perfect timing. Also. There is not a breath of wind here and it is just dead silent. The um, works, I was ex actually expecting a bit of a breeze to be blowing up from the ocean here, but there's nothing. So we're gonna ditch a few layers here and then we're gonna walk this way. And then along that ridge line there, those peaks over there. The view from where we came though is pretty nice. You can kind of see the road down there that we drove off and we walk up. followed the track up and you can see that this is the highest peak over here so it's a bit of a climb to get up there it's a beautiful um beautiful view crazy drop off
come down from the first peak um, skyline. See those people standing on top of it over there. Scale down this face there, where you can see there's a few more people coming down now. And then we're going up to the tallest peak, which is Medicus, which is up around this valley here. We're just waiting for this group here to come down because there is some loose shaly rocks there and we just don't want to be climbing up underneath them. Um, and it is, it's not t overly technical from a, like a climbing perspective, but it is steep and shaly and you can see here um, we how loose it is. So let's have a bit of a break here and then we'll start the ascent up to the summit. But couldn't have picked a better day, it's perfect. Um, just put some sun sunscreen on too because I think we'd get, start to get roasted. And that's the ocean right there. Yeah, you can just see that out there where those clouds are. Beautiful. to the summit and we've actually been here for about half an hour whilst I <laughs> got my emotions under control that was quite a stressful walk up here for me but really really glad that I've done it Mark gave me a lot of encouragement along the way so <laughs> that's yeah an understatement but I'm really really pleased that I pushed through and made it up here but yeah there's a few big groups up here at the moment we got we got our photo with the flag um, feeling pretty proud of myself um, so yeah, we're just going to try and time it to go back down in between the big groups so that it's not too, too hectic on the way down. Nice drop off. a good day hey yeah <laughs> um so yeah we've got some leftovers in the car that we're gonna have for lunch and there's two beers also in the fridge so we're gonna open them and celebrate a great day <laughs> leftovers and yeah <laughs> carb loading there you go we're sharing <laughs> spot here in Meteora. Beautiful view. It is, as you can see here, on a bit of an incline. <laughs> so when we come to spots like this, um, thankfully over the last, uh, what is it, over two years now, we've just found rocks, which there's plenty of here to level up. But actually, um, I don't know which country it was in. Um, one of those. I made a block. <laughs> 
South Central Asian companies, I found there's a bit of driftwood on the beach with a hole in it, so I just made up this little handle. And with, this usually works for a lot of spots as well. Just to put under the wheel. It just lives in there. But here, this is probably one of the bigger ones we've ever had. So we put a, a rock under this wheel, and the other one, and one at the front. But what it's done is resultantly made us with a pretty big step at the back here. <laughs> So yesterday, after going up Mount Olympus, I was like, all right, yeah, I can climb up this, but it's like, <laughs> it's a pretty solid step to get up. It's a bit of a ladder to get up there. And then I gotta like pull myself up. <laughs> it's more like coming down, that's like the tricky thing. Anyway, this is the biggest step we've ever encountered. Yeah, so you gotta be careful when you're <laughs> ducking outside at night time. Yeah. But yeah, we were a bit tired yesterday when we got here, so then, well, I was anyway, and I was like, all right, it'll do, whatever. <laughs> so today we're gonna check out the monasteries here, Meteora, and then we're gonna drive uh, west. Uh, I think it's about 450 k's to the coast. And today, according to the forecast, is the last day with sunshine, and after that it's gonna go downhill rapidly. So our plans to do some hiking and stuff over the next week is kinda of going pan shape. But today is glorious. It is stinking hot in the sun here. There's not a breath of wind, so I think it'll be a good day to tick this off and then um, go um, check out one last beach for the week. Catch the next episode where we take a look at the monasteries and dodge some hairy weather on the coast. Thanks for watching. See ya.